This re-recording is being prepared by the Kansas City Air Route Traffic Control Center to satisfy a request under the provisions of the Freedom of Information Act, control number 2023-00488. I hereby certify that the following is a true re-recording of the original recorded communications. My name is Eric Falke. I'm a Poison Management and Program Analyst to Quality Control at the Kansas City Air Route Traffic Control Center. This portion of the re-recording concerns communications at the Radar 6 position during the period 0525 to 0655 UTC on September 27, 2022. One, two, seven, oh, no, 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 uh, the key to four, do you have any idea what all these flashing white lights are that are out here? Okay, two on different frequencies. Number 132, Victor Uniform, Kansas City Center, Roger, the Manhattan Altimeter, 3012. 3012, two, Victor Uniform. And number seven, Romeo, Romeo, I'm sorry, say again. Just didn't know if you had any idea what all these uh, white flashing lights are out here. It's like a sea of them. They look like they're uh, well above you. Uh, no, on the ground, I'm sorry. There's just a whole bunch of them. It's uh, almost like the windmill farm thing, except for a lot more sporadic. Uh, that one I'm not sure. I'll, I'll look into it, though. No worries. Just curious. Are they pretty bright? Uh, no, they're they're kind of dim. Uh, they look, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of a weird, weird thing. I haven't seen anything like this out here before. Number seven, Romeo, Romeo, do you have an estimate of distance away from you? How far are out in front? They are, uh, I mean, out the left window, they're uh, all over the place, going at least 10 miles away from the airplane, and we've been tracking them for at least the last, I'd say, 50 miles. And just to verify for seven, Romeo, Romeo, you said they are on the ground, is that correct? Yep, on the ground, uh, seemingly everywhere. Gotcha. JetBlue 1223, you're kind of headed in that direction. Uh, be about your 10 to 11 o'clock and 50, 60 miles. Are you showing a bunch of lights on the ground out there? Uh, we don't really see it yet, but uh, we'll be looking. Gotcha. American 2701, you kind of passed over north uh, of Liberal. Did you see anything out there uh, on the ground, lights or anything? Uh, American 2701, uh, looking uh, looking around, we don't see anything. Uh, uh, any particular which side, left, right? Uh, for you, actually, it would have been about. Uh, uh, it would have been probably 80 miles ago along your route. Uh, I was just curious, maybe you saw something earlier. Uh, uh, negative on that, sorry. No worries. Watch this. Hey, Perry, just when you get a second, could you come down here? Sure. Thanks. Kansas City, Medivac, you can make 231,000. Got the weather notice there at the uh, Hayes. Think about two three Kansas City Center. Good evening, Hazel. Temperature three zero one four. Three zero one four. And over seven Romeo Romeo. Just to verify, it's not like a, a laser illumination or anything like that. Nope, nope, it's not. It kind of almost looks like the you know like tower lights flashing, but they're real dim, um, and they're like I said, they're they're real sporadic. Number seven, Romeo, Romeo, Roger. Couple 477, contact Fort Worth Center, 132.45. 3245, good night. Good night. Think about 23. The only pertinent note I'm showing is runway 4. The Pappy is unusable. Advising of the weather at Hayes, you can expect a visual approach. Okay, 23, and we've got the weather there. Time for visual. Great, good night, 23. Number seven, Romeo, Romeo, change to my frequency, 126.95. 26957, Romeo, Romeo. Center, Giant 3899, heavy flight level 242. Giant 3899, Romeo, Romeo, Center, Roger. Seven, Romeo, Romeo, is up on 26957. Remember, seven, Romeo, Romeo, thank you. 
is uh, Liberal Cup of 477 Control. Thanks, man. Yeah. Over 2 Victory Uniform, contact Kansas City Center, 123.8. City 127 Romeo Romeo, send the pilot's discretion to maintain 1 1000, Oklahoma City altimeter 3013. Pilot's discretion 1 1000, uh, Romeo Romeo, send the pilot's discretion to maintain 1 1000, Oklahoma City altimeter 3013. Pilot's discretion 1 1000, Romeo Romeo. Take a med 23, send the pilot's discretion to maintain 6000. Discretion to 6000, take a med 23. Number seven, Romeo, Romeo, are you still showing the lights off the left side? Yeah, and we're seeing them on both sides, um, and we have been for a while. It almost has to be some kind of phenomenon. Are we having a solar flare thing right now? Yeah, that I'm not sure about. Uh, it sounds like unless it's in the air, we don't really report it. Um, unless it's uh, laser events or something that's disruptive to the uh, flight deck. So if it's uh, uh, something that's bothersome, we could always report it to the local police, but it doesn't sound like it's something that we deal with on a normal basis. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nothing worth going down any of those rabbit holes. It hadn't really been all that distracting other than we just keep looking at it and it's keeping us awake, so I guess that's good. That sounds like a good thing, then. He's here now. Number seven, Romeo, Romeo. Is it uh, static on the ground? Is it, uh, it's just in one spot, or is it like moving along with you? Seems to be moving along with us. JetBlue 136 at 350. JetBlue 136, Kansas City Center. Good evening. Do you have time? You have time for a question? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, JetBlue 136, just had an aircraft at 35 um, for the last couple minutes now, or last 80 miles or so. Right around the liberal area, though, started seeing some lights uh, on the ground. They said they were pretty dim but sporadic. Are you showing anything out there? Uh, we're looking to stand by JetBlue 136. Roger. should be probably about your uh, 11 to 12 o'clock and 50 to 60 miles. Uh, that was along their route. Center Air Transport 3455 360. Air Transport 3455, Kansas City Center. Good evening. So, what were we looking for for JetBlue 136? Uh, JetBlue 136, they said that there were lights on the ground, um, but first they thought they were kind of the uh, windmill tower lights, but they're too sporadic for that. They're kind of a uh, but they report them for at least 100 miles. So I was just curious if you're seeing anything out there as well. Yeah, right now we don't see anything abnormal, JetBlue 136. Gotcha. And the number seven, Romeo, Romeo, are you still seeing them out there? No, sir, they've kind of uh, faded off. All right, Roger. Lieutenant JetBlue 136. JetBlue 136, go ahead. We're seeing those lights now. We we see them at about like at 3 o'clock, though, and it, it's multiple light flashing lights. It kind of looks like a camera's at a concert almost. Roger, you said that's at your 3 o'clock. Do you have a estimate on the distance? Yeah, we, we would say that 50-mile range probably. It's probably from like 1 to 3 o'clock. Roger. Number seven, Romeo, Romeo, I've got another aircraft that's uh, just south of Liberal. They said that the lights appear kind of like a camera, like flashes at a concert. Is that how you describe it as well? Uh, that's it. Uh, like a lot of, uh, almost like flashing, uh, like a strobe, like you're saying, except for much dimmer than the normal light. Okay, Roger. Just, it's just not as intense as a normal strobe or something. Right. Thanks. Hey, uh, JetBlue's seeing them now, too. Did, how did he describe it? Uh, he said it looks like flashing cameras at, like, a concert. Is there anything it's down there? Just not as, just not as bright. 
Is there some kind of venue down there or a casino or anything? Uh, I don't know the area at all. I don't know. I, I don't even know what's up. Southeast of Liberal. <laughs> uh, it can't be much. Yeah. All right, thanks. Because he reported it. He's just now. Are you still there? Yeah. He's, he's just now, like, south of Liberal, and he says it was 1 to 2 o'clock and about 50 miles. So. 1 to 2 o'clock and 50 from there, you said? Yeah. What's the closest fix up there? Like Oak City? Uh, let's see. There's nothing out there. 50 miles? Yeah, I mean. Maybe Buffalo Municipal? Hey, go back to 3. We have Hayes. Uh, all right, cool, thanks. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. Right. Take a two, three, Roger. Clear visual approach at the Hayes Airport for traffic bar cancellation in the air on the ground through this frequency. Change the advisor frequencies approved. Okay, clear for the visual of the Hayes. Take a bet, two, three. Number no, seven, Romeo, Romeo. About to have you over to uh, approach, but I just wanted to verify. It, it was, uh, you said it wasn't just at one location, though, correct? It was... Um, it was sporadic for at least 100 miles or so. Yeah, at least that long. Um, this is kind of a kind of a weird deal, but it uh, it went on. It started a little bit before we picked up with you, so Denver had us for a little bit area, and then uh, and then on with you up until about maybe 20 or 30 miles ago. Never seven, Romeo or Roger. All right, we were looking into it. Uh, if you would contact Oklahoma City Approach on 124.6. 24-6, we'll see you. Thanks. You guys have a good evening. Hell too. Thanks. This is Perry. Let's watch this. What frequency were those guys on? Uh, JetBlue was on one, let's see, 33-45. Okay. And uh, 7 Romeo Romeo was on 33-45 until, I don't know, I, I switched them over to 26-95. Okay. So it just, should be just those two frequencies. Well. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah. Cheers. And JetBlue, uh, 136, if you would, just let me know, um, I guess, when you stop seeing those lights, that, uh, just trying to kind of pin it down a little bit. Uh, the first officer says it's uh, slowed down, but he still sees a few. Roger. 15, 6, 8, on 3, question. Okay. Hey, it might be kind of a weird question, but uh, do you have anybody reporting lights on the ground that look kind of like camera flash? Um, do you have a general area? I can ask Just someone. South of Liberal, that JetBlue 136 that you gave me. He yeah. said he's seeing them. Um, hey, you might be three. We can't sort it. there from the northwest to southeast of Liberal. I have one aircraft that they saw them for over 100 miles, but it looked like a flashing strobe lights, just less intensity. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll try to see. I got an American coming to you here that maybe can try to see something a little further south. I'll, okay. I'll ask him. All right, thanks. And then uh, just while I have you, yeah. I mean, I'll just flash me and I'll take it now, but that NASA 747, are you fine with him 20 left or right, of course? Yeah. Of I think course. it's yeah. nautical miles. I don't know. It's Center Eagle Mat 2 3, we'll yeah, cancel that far. Okay. All right, thanks. Eagle Mat 2 3, Roger, IFR cancellation received. Squad VFR, we'll talk to you later. See ya. Air Transport 3455, uh, yeah, time for a question. Yeah, go ahead, Air Transport 3455. Air Transport 3455, uh, had a couple aircraft report some lights on the ground of less intensity, but so it looks kind of like camera flashes. Um, should be anywhere between your 10 and 2 o'clock, about 65 miles. Are you showing anything out there, or as you get closer, could you just let me know if you do? Six, eight. Uh, hey, so that, that 1280 here, he's saying uh, he's seeing something, I think, right off his nose here. Uh, he, he's not saying it looks like a line, but there's some type of little small strobing light that looks like it's going to the north of it. Yep, okay. That's kind of what this other guy was saying. All right. Um, yeah, I have no idea what it is. Really. Yeah, he's saying it looks kind of weird. That's, yeah, the, the first guy I have reports says, like, something he's never seen before, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. We're trying to figure it out. Okay. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thanks, sir.
Giant 3899, contact Denver Center, 132.22. Air Transport 3455, sorry, I had to step offline to coordinate something. Did you say you were, or you're just going to let me know when you get closer? Yeah, we're starting to see a couple of different areas of light flashing, but it looks like they're kind of sequence at the exact same time from what we can tell. So there's got to be something on the ground with some light that uh, sequence the flash is uh, almost like a strobe light. All right, Roger. Thank you. And JetBlue 136 no longer sees them. JetBlue 136, thank you. Good morning, Kansas City, America 1280. We're level uh, 350. America 1280, Kansas City Center. Good morning. And American uh, 1280, I understand you're seeing those lights on the ground as well. Would you just let me know when you stop seeing them, please? We're trying to just kind of pin down where they're at. Yeah, we'll let you know, American Map 1280. Appreciate it. I wouldn't say they're necessarily bright. They're almost like the twinkling stars that's on the ground. Yeah, that's what the first aircraft that reported them said. So they weren't bright in intensity, just uh, they just looked different and something they really hadn't seen before. I agree with that. Sorry, good morning, Frontier 2068, level 350. Frontier Flight 2068, Kansas City Center, good morning. Kansas City, good evening, uh, NASA 747. We're leveling now 420, and uh, we'll be looking for your mysterious light. NASA 747, Kansas City Center, good evening, I appreciate it. We do have a block, 413. Thank you. Kansas City Frontier 420 at 370. Roger, fly 420, Kansas City Center. Good evening. Hey, good morning, uh, Kansas City Air Transport 3422, flight level 360. Smooth. Air Transport 3422, Kansas City Center. Good evening. Thanks. Kansas City United, uh, 2129, flight level 370, just picking up some light shots. Yeah, 2129, Kansas City Center, good evening, shouldn't be anything worse than that. This is the end of the re-recording to satisfy a request under the provisions of the Freedom of Information Act, control number 2023-00488.